good morning, everyone. Let's see what this is. All right. So, good morning, everyone. I have to put out our disclaimer, as you know. Uh, so, if there's anything that you can't do, don't do it. We're just doing a little demonstration today. So, there's our disclaimer. And now, we're going to work a little on weightlifting. So I wanted to show you that you don't have to have just dumbbells to get a good weightlifting exercise with, to build muscle with. Uh, water bottles are great. Uh, milk jugs are a little harder to work with because the handles aren't so comfortable on the hands. Um, but you could also use uh, <laughs> cartons that have handles, anything that you can grab in your hand. So it doesn't have to be a hand weight. You don't have to go out and buy hand weights. Is what I'm trying to say. So beyond that, we're just going to just show you some few, a few exercises to build arm muscles and to strengthen the arms and also a few steps that can help us uh, strengthen the arms as well as the legs. So we'll begin, of course, I'll begin with my five pound dumbbells here or hand weights. People don't like dumbbells. So hand weights. They can be any size. You can buy them at Walmart. They're a couple dollars a piece. Uh, but again, water bottles are pretty cheap. A uh, great way to recycle a water bottle instead of just throwing it away. And so we're just going to start off thinking about our posture. We want our feet flat on the floor. If we're sitting in a chair, we definitely want to have our posture straight. Our back is in alignment. Our shoulders and hips are in alignment so that we're not hurting our back or injuring ourselves while we're doing these heavy lifting movements. So <clears throat> we'll start with just bicep curls. And we want to make sure we're keeping our elbows against our waist or against our sides because the elbows and the top of the arms are not moving. Only the forearms are moving. So we have our good posture. We're sitting up tall, bringing our belly into our spine and just controlling the movement up and down. So if it doesn't feel very heavy, if it feels like we can really just swing these weights around, then control those movements to add to the muscle building. If you're just swinging your arms around, you're really not building muscle. You want to really feel those muscles engaging as you bring them up and release them down. You can see my biceps are <laughs> enlarging as I bring them up. If you're just swinging them around, they really don't get that kind of exercise. So you really want that control. Fast movements are not always the answer. Good, so we've got good control. We've got good posture. Just flexing those biceps. And honestly, depending on your dumbbell, <laughs> on your hand weight, how much it weighs, you can do 20, 25 repetitions and actually get some good muscle building. But if you're going that far, you may want to increase your weight. So I have this other dumbbell here. <laughs> this one, these ones are very old. <laughs> They're from the 80s. They're concrete encased in plastic. <laughs> and I think there's an iron bar at the handle. <laughs> but otherwise, it's just concrete. <laughs> So <laughs> you could also use center blocks as bricks for weightlifting as well, but they're just not very nice to the hands. So with these weights, these are almost seven pounds. They're 6.6 .6 pounds. And now we have to move a little slower because it's more weight, but with more weight, we build more muscle. We tire the muscles out faster and we don't have to take as long to build muscle but we have to be more gentle with ourselves when we're using heavier weights because we can push ourselves too far and cause injury. So what we want to go to is the burn. Once you feel the muscle burn, you feel the sweat beating on your face, go a couple more <laughs> and really make it burn. Feel that burn. <laughs> Feel it just a little more. Push it as far as you can and then rest it. That burn is the muscle building. 
If you don't get yourself to that burn, you're really not doing much besides maintaining what you have. That burn is what builds more muscle. So we have that burn point. We let our arms rest for a minute. We always want to remember our breathing. So we're breathing nice and slow in through our nose and out through our mouth. That's the best way to get good clean air in and exhale more carbon dioxide while we're pumping our muscles. Good. So we felt that burn. <laughs> That's really when we want to push a few more and then rest and then another set of repetitions. So good control. We're not swinging our arms. We're controlling it up and down not letting it touch our hand, our leg. The muscles are controlling it the whole way. And we notice the burn comes faster the second time around. And that's because the muscles are already tired. So again, we want to take it to that burn. Feel the burn. <laughs> feel it. Take it just a few more past that point where you feel you can't do it. And do one more. And then relax it down. Another big breath. Good. So those are some great bicep curls. So really strengthening this here. As you can tell, it does well. That's all it takes is a little muscle movement. I don't do any more than this. <laughs> so <clears throat> our next one is for our triceps or the muscles on the back of the arms. And there are two different ways we can do it. One way builds the legs. So that's what we'll start first. We have our weights and we're coming up from our chair. We want a good wide stance. So we have good balance and our soft knees. So we're strengthening our legs. We have our weights. We're using our good posture, keeping our shoulders back. Now, for our triceps. We're going to bring them right up to here and then squat. So we're strengthening our legs and now we're going to work the backs of our arms just by releasing it back. Now we want that control. We're not swinging ourselves around. We're using our muscles, our stomach muscles, our back muscles, our leg muscles hold us in place as our arms move back and we can bring down further into it get more leg work out of it it makes it even harder and we're just controlling the weights back behind us working the back of the arms pushing it back and breathing we go feel it in the legs I do my legs have almost had it but my arms aren't tired yet so now we'll have to sit it down because my legs can't do anymore so that squat really builds the leg muscles the, the quadriceps and the soleus and gastrocnemius they get a lot stronger while we're holding that pose and then of course moving the weights increases that amount of muscle work so it's a great way to build leg muscles and arm muscles so if our legs are tired now give them a rest we can continue this movement in the chair so we have our feet we're sitting up but this time we're leaning forward as if we were in that squat and our arms are to our sides bent again this time we're just taking them straight back, just like we were doing. We're giving our legs a little rest as we work those tricep muscles, holding our body in place, using our stomach muscles, keeping them tight and moving our arms. There we go. Feel the burn, feel it, just a couple more, and push it, push it past it, 
and they're tired. Bring them back up. Bring yourself back up. Feel that burn, I know. That's the whole point. We want to get to that burn. I know, I always say feel the burn, but the burn is what builds the muscle tissue. It starts breaking down the muscles and increasing the amount of tissue that you have there. So it's great to do. So we've built our triceps and biceps to give us an idea. Now, we can work on our pecs, <laughs> our chest muscles. For men, it gives men the nice chest. For women, it helps increase the, <laughs> the elasticity in the breasts and helps them stand up better. <laughs> so if you're doing more chest presses, you need less support from a bra. <laughs> Let's say it that way. <laughs> so we have our weights. We're sitting, our feet are flat making sure we have our good posture. Our shoulders are back. And we'll start with our weights together in front. And then we open them. And again, we don't need dumbbells. We can use water bottles. They work just fine. Pressing it together, flexing those pecs, opening it wide, flexing the back muscles, the scapula muscles on the scapula. Open and closed. Oh, we feel it in the shoulders more than the pecs, depending on the weight of the dumbbell. We want that good control so we're not hurting ourselves. And never forget to breathe muscles get tired faster if you forget to breathe because they need oxygen to burn. Feel the burn? <laughs> Take it past a couple more. There we go. One more. Push it. There. <sighs> Let the arms rest. Take a big breath. There we go, all right. So that gives us some ideas on ways to build our arm muscles and our chest muscles and even our back muscles. Our leg muscles can get that squat and we can use the weights while we're standing. It is much more difficult and it takes better balance. <laughs> so thank you for working with me today. We did some heavy lifting, I know I feel it. It's been a few days for me, so I'm glad we could catch up. So, on October 26th, Mother Jay is going to have a full hour-long fitness class that will include weightlifting and several other aerobic activities, as well as stretching, of course, a warm-up and cool-down. Um, it'll be our introductory class, so it is 99 cents for everyone to join, 99 cents a person, but please join me on October 26th. We'll do a full hour class, get a full hour of fitness. You won't regret it. Thank you.